Today, we're going to be looking for a triplex or a quad that is going to make a passive cash flow after all expenses of at least $50 a unit. Jerry from San Diego, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I am your host, James Wise, and of course, behind the scenes, we got my main man, Tommy. Tommy, I'm pretty excited about the property I found for Jerry today. I think he's going to make some money, dude. You want to tell the audience uh, a little bit about Jerry's background? Sure, James. Yeah, uh, Jerry is a real estate investor and agent from San Diego, California. Uh, he's actually very experienced. He's flipped a house before, and he has $250,000 cash that he'd like to use, uh, but he only wants to keep $30,000 in the deal long term. All right, okay. That is just like a good little highlight for all you guys out there. If you're a brand new investor, you can utilize our services. But if you're like Jerry, like, you know, he's a licensed agent. So the guy knows what he's doing. He's already flipped houses. He's, he's working down there in San Diego. So you can be a pretty experienced guy, but you can still find a lot of value in this show because what we're doing is we're bringing you all of that on the ground knowledge in Cleveland. No matter how experienced you are out there in San Diego, San Diego is still going to be a very different market from Cleveland. So with all of that in mind, let us, let us see what I found for you, Jerry. The property that I found for Jerry is 322, I'm sorry, 3277 Washington Boulevard, Cleveland Heights, Ohio. 44118. This is a triplex listed at 179,900. Quickly, let's go through the photos. By the way, this was listed by um, a company out here called Realty Express. I have uh, worked with the listing agent on this deal. I've worked with him several times. Pretty good deal. Pretty good dude. We got a pretty good rapport, him and I. So, uh, assuming you want to move forward and purchase this deal after this video, Jerry, I think it'll be a pretty smooth deal. Let's just check out all the photos. Nice neutral paint throughout, looking good. It's They did a pretty nice job on what we could see. Now, what you're seeing is an empty unit. This was the unit prior to them putting in tenants. They have put tenants in all three of these units. So what they did is they did a rent-ready reno, and they took all the photos <clears throat> and then they filled it. So that's that's what you're looking at. Now, let's just go over that rent roll really quickly. Unit number one, that is that third floor unit, five fifty a month, one bed, one bath. Unit two, that is a huge unit, two bed, one bath, but it's a 1,300 square foot unit, bringing in eight seventy five a month. And then the third unit, also a 1,300 square foot Two bed, one bath unit bringing in seven twenty five a month. Total rent coming in two thousand one hundred fifty a month, or twenty five thousand eight hundred dollars a year. And there is some upside, and that's why I think this deal is going to work for you, Jerry. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches, FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. 
Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to HoltonWise.com today. This is priced at $179,900, but I don't want you to pay $179,900. I'm going to get into that a little bit later, though. Really quick, what I want to do for you is quickly go through the numbers, what you can expect with the current metrics. So of that rent, $2,150 as far as estimated expenses go. We're going to factor in $107 for repairs and maintenance, for vacancy and non-payment of rent, and for capital expenditures, right? CapEx, things like the roof, the furnace, hot water tanks, roofs. Big old roof, big old roof on a property like this, probably a good seven, eight thousand dollar roof. Hot water tanks, three of them. Okay, they're gonna run you about a thousand bucks. They're gonna last about fifteen years. So every fifteen years, pencil in a thousand bucks. That roof, thirty year roof. Every thirty years, pencil in seven or eight grand. And then of course three furnaces, pencil in nine thousand dollars every 30 years or so on furnace replacements. So every single year you're gonna factor in. $1,284 for those big ticket items. You know, most of the time that's just going right in your pocket, but you know those expenses are coming up. So you're going to be saving that. Vacancy and non payment, $1,284 a year as well. Whenever tenants move out, you got vacancy if you have to evict folks. Now, this is a nice, solid B class neighborhood. So I don't foresee a lot of evictions uh, in your future, okay? Nice quality neighborhood like this, but I can't tell you, I can't stand up here on the show and tell you that you'll never deal with it, so we factor that in. So you're penciling $1,284 a year for that, and then, of course, $1,284 a year for those repairs and maintenance. Most of the time, your repairs and maintenance is going to happen at your turnovers. So if your folks are moving out every couple years and you're doing two or $3,000 turnovers, you know, you're factoring all that in. The one downside, big downside to Cleveland Heights is the taxes. They are kind of expensive, $506 a month. However, the high rents are going to make up for that. Insurance, we'll be able to insure this for approximately $100 a month. If you didn't already know, Jerry, here at Holton Wise, we're able to handle insurance for investors as well. And it's not just for Cleveland properties, not just for Ohio properties. We are working in multiple states. So in the show notes below, I've got a link to our insurance company. It's called the Hogue Insurance Agency. We have another partner in that business, Kevin Hogue. He runs the day-to-day. -day. Reach out to him no matter where your properties are located in. We've been getting appointed in many states. We're aiming to be appointed in all 50 states by the end of the year. So if you have a rental property, odds are good we'll be able to insure it for you. This particular rental property, Jerry, it should be about 100 bucks a month because we aim to get you guys the lowest premiums possible. We deal with investors and only investors, man. We're not trying to insure people's personal homes or their boats or their RVs. It's an investor-focused company. We know what you guys want. You want low premiums. That's what we do. Water sewer estimate, two and a quarter a month, right? We got three families, right? Three folks living here. I anticipate approximately $75 per unit. Now, honestly, that might be on the high side because that third unit is a small unit, right? The the first two units are 1,300 square foot units. You know, most of the units and duplexes around here in Cleveland are the two bed, one bath units. Um, and I always factor in about 75 because that's a number that can go up, can go down, man. Uh, that's just like a nice reasonable guesstimate for you. But honestly, I'm being probably, you know, kind of conservative. That's probably a little too high because that third floor unit Throughout the ownership, you're you're going to have less people living there, right? You know, if I have a two-bedroom unit here, more often than not, the people attracted to that unit are probably going to have a larger family than a one-bedroom unit. That's probably going to usually be a single person or a couple, whereas a two-bedroom unit, you know, we're talking about children, things of that nature. So just, you know, you got a little bit of cushion there to factor in. Lawn care, it's five twenty eight a year at Holton Wise. Uh, we charge roughly thirty four bucks a cut, thirty three bucks a cut, something like that. Uh, we do it between sixteen and eighteen times a year, right? We don't have to cut grass in January, February. We got like five feet of snow outside, um, so it's going to average out to forty four a month for the times we do need to cut. And then of course property management, that's two fifteen. So of that twenty one fifty, you're bringing in every month. 
you're either saving for future problems or spending it on actual expenses right now. I anticipate you're going to spend on average 1411 of that, which is going to leave you with $739 uh, for your net operating income. So of that 2150 you can clearly and safely assume 739 of that will be profit. That's 8868 a year. But, Jerry, I get it, bro. You like uh, the Burr? the Burr method, okay, and you don't want to have more than $30,000 into this deal. You could right now pay $179,900 cash, but you don't want to, and your goal is to put $30,000 to work long-term, use some residential financing. You want to keep the other cash, presumably to flip houses, particularly in the San Diego market. Now, another thing uh, <clears throat> you had mentioned to your notes to Tom and myself is um, you're, you're looking for appreciation. Uh, you, you hit it on the head. Cleveland's not like a major appreciation market. Uh, but part of the reason I chose this triplex for you was Cleveland Heights is a really nice area. This is a very nice part of Cleveland Heights. It's very high end. You're getting like a high end tenant base. Uh, so, yeah, you know, if, if you're an investor and you're looking to play that appreciation game, okay, San Diego is where you need to play the appreciation game, right? Every seven years or something like that, the California uh, real estate market is totally doing that big, huge cycle, right? Here in Cleveland, it's it's very steady. So if your goals are are like uh, making money on appreciation, this is not really the market for you. You know, we have a very steady, pretty much flat market here. You know, we get a little bit of ticks, but uh, this is primarily a cash flow market. So the reason I chose this property, though, it's in like one of the higher end areas, one of the higher end rental areas you could buy. So, <clears throat> you know, if something's going to improve, theoretically, it would be the nicer stuff, right? It wouldn't be like, you know, rough areas, high risk areas where it could be the ghetto and then you could see some steep declines if the neighborhood declines. I, I don't foresee any declining in this neighborhood. So that's another reason I chose this for you. Getting into the financing on this, right? <clears throat> Getting into the financing. Here's, you know, we're going to have to go through this because I, I, there's a few different ways we can slice this, right? What you wanted to do, man, you wanted to make 50 bucks a unit, right? You were hoping to keep as little cash out of this as possible, do a burr possibly, um, if, if can be, and you wanted a three or four unit. What you have to understand, uh, two things that you got to understand, Jerry, and then that everybody else out there has to understand. Number one, like bird deals, guys, there's not just like, uh, they're not just like sitting out there. There's not like a million of them, right? A lot of times to, to do a successful bird deal, we have to go in and find value where others don't find value, right? There's not just like a hundred properties on the open market that you can go in, you could buy, you could put some money into them to renovate them, and then you're going to make them worth $50,000 more than what you put into the deal. That's very rare. That doesn't happen. And to get that to happen, you've got to either kind of get lucky or find value where others are missing value. That's one point I want to make to you. And the second point I want to make to you, um, the second point I would like to make to you is inventory, okay? In Cleveland, we have a super large abundance of single-family properties. So if you're looking for single-family properties, we have a gigantic housing stock of single-family rentals. We have a large, large stock of two-family rentals, so two units, a huge stock of those. As far as three and four unit properties, we have a very limited supply of those here. For whatever reason, when they were building a lot of the multifamily properties, three and four unit properties were not they didn't build them in abundance, right? We just don't have a lot of them here in the city, in our market. There's just not a lot. So they are very rare. Uh, we do then, after the two units, jump up to a pretty large supply of six-unit apartment buildings, many of them built uh, around the 1950s or so. So with that said, I want you to keep in mind that bird deals are incredibly rare, right? Bird deals super rare. And also three and four unit apartment buildings are super rare. So it was kind of a difficult task to find a property that fit all of your needs because, you know, that would be more or less impossible to fit all of your needs. But this particular one I found, I think the way we go about purchasing this property and the strategies we take uh, is going to allow us to find value that others might be missing and benefit from the fact that you've got all that cash to try to work that out. So here's what I got. 
if you paid the price of 179900 just like that, say you bought at list price and you just went in with a loan, a traditional 30-year loan, you'd only need to put down $44,975. So you're pretty damn close to your goal of only having $30,000 into the deal, right? You're less than $15,000 over it. Doing that, you'd have a $134,000 mortgage. Your payment would be six eighty three dollars a month, which would give you $56 a month in net cash flow after factoring everything. But that is only a 1.5% return. That's not sexy. That's that's not, you know, that's not super exciting, right? That's, you know, that's pretty below average, right? This is where finding value where others are missing it doesn't, you know, that's where this comes into play. Earlier, <clears throat> let's pull that rental chart up again. Our rent roll, 550, 875, 725. Okay, the unit renting for 725 is the same kind of unit as our unit that's renting for 875. They're both two bedroom, one bath units. They're both 1,300 square foot. So the current seller is leaving money on the table. There will be no issue with you getting the rent of the $725 unit up to 875. Now, if you factor that additional $150 a month in rent into your numbers here, if you bought it just with a traditional loan, right, your down payment's still the same, $44,975, but instead of making $56 a month with the additional $150 in rent, you're now going to be clearing $206 a month in free cash flow after your debt service. That's $2,472 a year or a 5.5% return. So now the deal is starting to check off some boxes. But there's a little bit more. There's a little bit more. What I think you can do, because you have so much cash, investors rarely get cash offers on properties priced this high, right? Because we're in the Cleveland market. This is a $179,000 multifamily deal, right? You could, you know, go around the Cleveland market and find fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollar deals all day in lower value neighborhoods, right? And the lower value neighborhoods, the lower deals, those properties they tend to be in rougher conditions. So a lot of times, you know, we may need to do cash offers on those particular deals just because they're so rough and tough. But when you get up into the higher echelon, right, this one hundred seventy nine thousand nine hundred, there's so many cheap, cheap deals out here that cash investors are going for. It's rare that you'll see cash investors uh, going for the higher price properties. You know, most times sellers are anticipating dealing with finance buyers. So if everyone else is coming to the table with financing and you're able to come to the table with cash, I think we'll be able to make an offer much less than that 179.9. Now you got to look at this from the seller's perspective, okay? This is where your cash can come into play. But you got to stick with me, Jerry, because I'm about to give some advice uh, that is going to contradict some of my other advice. So the advice I'm going to give you, I'm not saying you have to take this. I'm saying this is going to be one investment strategy. But with any strategy, there's no perfect strategy at all times. You know, there's a varying level of risk versus reward. But considering you are not a rookie investor, number one, number two, you're a licensed professional, I feel comfortable giving you this advice because you're not a newbie. You're a real estate agent. You flip houses before. So... With the fact that everyone else could be coming to the, the table here with financing, right? If you look at this from that seller's perspective, they have three tenants. Everybody knows that dealing with tenants is a pain in the ass, right? I run a pretty freaking big company based on the fact that people don't want to deal with their own tenants. It's a very, very difficult job, right? That's, that's how I feed my family based upon the need uh, of property management. It's super tough. So... With the fact that you can have the ability to come in cash, you can offer them a cleaner offer, right? You still, of course, need to do this contingent on a third-party inspection. I would never want you to do that without. But if another buyer comes in and they want to use a bank, and that's, of course, going to require an appraisal, they need to then 
go bother their tenants, make three appointments to get the inspector in there. Then they need to make another three appointments to get the appraiser in there. And then, of course, Cleveland Heights is a point of sale city, so they need to make three more appointments to get the point of sale inspector in there. And then, if there's violations, they need to make another three appointments to get him back in there to clear off all the violations. So that could be a total of 12 times they need to make an appointment with their tenant. You, uh, as a cash investor, can take at least three of those right off the table for these folks. Or possibly up to six. Now, the seller has not mentioned the point of sale in their listing. So I believe they have not actually ordered it just yet. So we could also use that as a nice negotiating tactic. So the first reason I think you can get some money off is you're going to have the ability to go in, hey, I'll make you a cash offer, no banks, no appraisals. The only thing we got to do is worry about that inspection. So right then and there, that's cutting off three pain-in-the-ass appointments the seller's going to need to make. And then when they order that point of sale, the property's in damn good shape. I'm sure there's just going to be a few little minor tic-tac items. You could also relieve them of a problem. Instead of them having to make another three appointments to go ahead, well, first of all, it would be even more than three. Not only would it be another three for them to send their uh, the, Cleveland inspect, the Cleveland Heights inspector back in to verify they fixed everything, how many different appointments do they need to make with contractors to go clear off those little minor violations? So you could be saving them anywhere between six and 10 to 15 potential times they need to get people in there bothering their tenants by paying cash and then agreeing to assume those minor uh, point of sale violations and of course when we actually get that point of sale report once they send us the violations we will then use that to negotiate a price reduction right so what I think you should do I think we should make an offer at a hundred and fifty five thousand and we'll go all cash no appraisal only contingent on the inspection that's just one strategy I think you could employ because if you get that done and then assuming the point of sale comes back super, super minor and they credit us a couple grand for however much those items were going to cost, I believe you can get this property that I see a value of 179 no problem, but I'd like to see you get it in the mid-150s and then go ahead, increase the other tenant's rent, get that up to 875 Now you're going to be bringing in all that cash flow, over $206 a month, right, um, after you refinance it out. And being that you bought it for less than what it should appraise for, you'll get more of your money back. We might not get you all the way down to $30,000, but uh, doing this strategy, we should be able to have you get into the deal for less than the $45,000 if you just went up and paid for it with a loan up front. Now, super big disclaimer, Jerry. I always, 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 always advise everybody who is investing out of state to get an appraisal. I want you guys to get an appraisal because that is one way you can protect your ass. You don't want to go in and buy a property without an appraisal, without a bank, uh, if you don't know the market because you could accidentally overpay for a property. Now, in my opinion, I don't think you'd be overpaying. But if you said, nah, James, I'm not comfortable with your strategy. I don't want to buy it. Uh, without getting an appraisal. I totally understand. I don't take offense to that. As a matter of fact, that is what I tell people all the time, and that is proper due diligence. You are absolutely going to take a risk by buying it without an appraisal. But again, I feel comfortable giving you that advice, and everybody else is watching this. I'm giving Jerry that advice. I am not necessarily giving that advice to you. So if you're someone else watching this, you've never invested in real estate before, the advice I'm giving here today is specifically catered to Jerry and Jerry alone. Jerry, you're seasoned. You're an agent. You know the business. I'm not talking to you as a novice. I'm talking to you as a colleague. And I just want to show you one other thing too, because of course I know the first thing you're going to ask me is, all right, you want me to buy this without an appraisal. What are the comps? Well, I pulled up the comps in Cleveland Heights, multi-families. Right here, we got a multi-family, <clears throat> 225000 at 2224 Grandview Ave, up here, 3221 Bradford, that sold for 195000 
2449 Woodmere sold at 190,000. 3023 Summerton 185,000. 3124 Edge Hill 180,000. 3250 Berkshire 175,000. 3251 Silsby 170. 2125 Coventry 170. 1641 Coventry 166.5. 2120 Rent Rock 165. 1684 Coventry 16. 1684 Coventry, 164,000. 229 Belford, 161,000. Edgewood, 160. Meadowbrook, 152. East Derbyshire, 149.9. 2113 Stillman, 149,000. So I think with all of those comps, I think I demonstrated to you, I, I see the values there. And I see the risk of you overpaying here being very low. And I think the reward is there because you have the ability to possibly knock a ton of money off the purchase price by coming in, making it simple, making it easier for these sellers to deal with you than to deal with other buyers. You know, my idea would be to write the offer, contingent on inspection, and a clear POS at 155000 and we'll give them the option. Or if when they order their POS and there are violations, we would be willing to assume those for a fair price reduction just further making us the easiest people to deal with that's how we add value and the other way we would add value here is by increasing the current rent roll from 2150 a month to 2300 a month bringing up your free cash flow after you refinanced it out to over 50 bucks a unit you'd be having uh, you'd be getting 206 bucks a month out of this on average out of your three units, and that would be a 5.5% cash-on-cash return if it was at the list price, but my goal uh, was set up to get you the property at a much better price than the list price. So, Jerry, if all of that sounds good to you, and you're interested in making an offer, just go ahead and send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com, and you can have us represent you directly. You'll get access to me and my personal team of assistants who will act as your buyer's agent on your behalf. We will negotiate the deal. We'll coordinate inspections, things of that nature. Or if you like, you are under no obligation to work with us. You've got this analysis from me. It is a completely no-strings-attached analysis. You know, this is an a la carte system here at Holton Wise. You pay for what you want. If you want to go directly to the listing agent, because, again, man, you're a realtor. You know the game, right? You know how to negotiate deals. If you want to go right to him because you know another way to make yourself stand apart is by the gatekeeper, the other agent, knowing he's going to make more money off of dealing with you than some other guy who's represented by another agent because he's got to split his commission with that other agent. You know, there's something to be said about that strategy too. It's your call, man. You could do whatever you want. And if you think my idea of not getting an appraisal was super risky, I totally respect that because, again, I just I can't make this any more clear, guys. If you are a newbie, never, ever, ever, ever do that. The only reason I'm comfortable giving that advice to Jerry is because he's a fellow agent and he's got some experience in the business. That is everything I've got for you guys today. Quickly before we get out of here, if you guys like my shirt, the Rents Do shirt, you can click in the show notes below. We've got this item and several other real estate related items available for sale. If you found some serious value here with what we're doing at Holton Wise TV, do me a solid and smash that like button. If this is the first time you've ever watched one of our videos, do yourself a solid and smash that subscribe button so you get more deals and information and real estate education from us. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. The price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, holding wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied.
RentTech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With RentTech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and RentTech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from health. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.